Hey, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're gonna look at three top tips that are gonna help you in Microsoft Outlook. Here we go. The first tip I wanna show you is using the drag and drop feature, which is very useful for taking something that's in your email and putting it right into your calendar in Outlook. So for example, I sent myself an email up here and let's say that it said an important meeting on November 1st and I didn't wanna forget about that. I could take this, click on it, left click, drag and drop it right down here to the calendar icon. And as soon as I do that, it pops up with an appointment window. And then in this appointment window, I can change the subject if I need to, and I can change the date. In this case, I would change it to November 1st, or maybe a few days before November 1st to remind me that there's something coming up here. And then I can set the information there. One nice thing about that is it copies all of the information from the email right into the body of the appointment box. So now if you click on it on your calendar, you'll be able to see all the information that, that applies to this. Okay, tip number two involves making folders and getting organized. So over here on the left-hand side, if I would right click on inbox, I have this option to make a new folder. So I can make a new folder here and I'm just gonna say from me. And the from me folder will be anything that I send myself, reminders, and that's another extra bonus tip. You can always email yourself reminders, pictures, any kind of information that you need as a reminder for you, it's just one extra backup. You can always email your own email address, especially if it's from another device or something, that may be a good way to um, remind yourself of something. Emailing yourself can also be useful if you're gonna test something out, if you wanna make sure maybe links in the email work, send it to yourself first, make sure everything is working the way you want it to, and then you can send it out to your list of people that you wanted to send that to. Okay, so you can have these folders in here. You can also make subfolders. So if I said from me and I put a new folder here and I said um, that this was coaching related, I could do that and hit enter. Now I have a coaching file in there. If I wanted to break that down further, you can keep going and break it down into subfolders at that point. Okay, tip number three is using rules. And I'm gonna show you how using rules can really make your life a little bit simpler and declutter your inbox. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my email right here, right click on it, Go down in the menu to where it says rules. Go over here to where it says always move messages. So I can always move messages from myself and I'm gonna click that and it's gonna ask where do you want to always move those messages. So I'm gonna always move those messages to the from me folder. So I'm gonna hit OK. As soon as I do that, hit OK, that message disappears. And over here from me, that's where that email goes. Now, any future emails I send myself will go directly to that box. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna make a quick example email to myself. I'm gonna say it's a test. And I'm gonna hit send. Now you'll notice when I do that, over here, there's no number next to from me. And I don't see the email popping up in my inbox. So when it does pop up, it's gonna now pop up over here. Now all of a sudden we have a one that popped up. It says from me and there's a one behind it. So notice it does not pop up in your inbox. It goes directly to that folder. So you can do that with any email. You can have them set to go into specific folders, but you'll have to make sure that you're checking out the number behind them. So here's another example. I have a Google Tech Community folder right here. And in this Google Tech Community folder, I have emails that go directly from this Google Tech Community right into that folder. So I never see them in my inbox. And when I have time, I'll go through and see if there's anything that I need to check out, any questions that people have that might apply to what I'm doing in the classroom or what I'm doing with teachers. So that's something that you can do to really declutter your inbox is to use rules. You can get more involved with rules if you go over down to the option menu for rules and you click on create a rule you're gonna see there's a lot more options in here and different check boxes that you can get into and be more specific. But as a basic tip, that's what I wanted to show you about how to use rules. So there you go, three quick tips that are gonna help you with Microsoft Outlook. I hope those made your life a little bit easier. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.